Good day everybody and welcome. Today we will learn a cool trick on how to customize the website's URL and how to hide our PHP files from users. So for now I have just a, a PHP file which is user.php if I just refresh it we, we see that there is a user.php file and if I click on that file it, it shows me a link which is user4 uh, and for example on the website when you click on on the user's name uh, it will show you the user's information but when you click on the username uh, right now it tells me hey user 4 but if you pay attention to the URL you can see that it changed from uh, local local host user PHP it changed to to local host user .php, and then there is a variable which is user ID and then it shows me the value for this variable which is 4 so my PHP file looks like this I have here a link and my link looks like this I have the PHP file and then I have the user ID and then I give an ID I gave just 4 and then below this line below this link I check uh, just to make sure that uh, I assigned something to our to the user ID variable now if I go back to my website most of the websites you sell that they they have it in a different way maybe uh, you sell that they have it something like this like profile and then slash and then the user ID which is in my case is four now to do this to to customize your URL and to hide your PHP files you should use the HD access uh, file and I'm going to create it right now I will create a new file and I will save it as dot HD access and here we should activate the rewrite engine and we do it in this way we just write rewrite engine and we want to turn it on now we should rewrite a rule we want to rewrite the rule of our URL because we want to rewrite the rule for this URL we want to rewrite it and make it in this way so here we should write this code <clears throat> I'm going to explain everything here so we rewrite the rule and then this is the profile and then we have our slash before the profile comes the website's name there's a slash after the website's name and then it comes profile slash and here comes the the user ID now this is the the second um, rule for example we rewrite the rule this rule and make it in this way so we just customize this URL and made it in this way right now here we have our uh, current uh, URL which is user.php file and user ID it's equal to dollar sign and one <clears throat> number one means the, the first value because uh, if you look here we have uh, this value from here comes in this place after this after this slash so we may have here another value for example for a page uh, I will explain it later but this number one means the first value from our URL so let's save this file like this let's go back to our browser and let's refresh this page and we see that it works so we have a different name here we have a profile and then it's slash and then we have the user uh, ID now let's say on, on the website you have a list of users and when you click on on, uh, on each user you can see the users blog posts on the website and if that user has a lot of blog posts then uh, you will see that there are multiple pages so um, let's say our link our URL was like this and then when you click to the next page for example there is a second page then then our link will look like this page another variable which is page and then equal to two or we just assign number two to our variable page so to add another value to our URL now we want to change this URL in this way we want to make it profile profile four and page two it doesn't work right now because we should rewrite the rule for this particular URL now let's go back to our HD doc I mean HD access file and let's add here another 
a variable which is page and this page gets the second the second value like like dollar sign and then to it it means the second value from our URL and then here we just let's copy this this here is the here comes the user ID and then there is a slash and then there is a page and then slash and then the page number so we have profile slash user this is ID and then slash page slash page name page number which is here so the second value comes on the sec second handle and the, and the first uh, value comes in the first um, handle let's save this file let's go back to our browser let's refresh the page and we see that it works <clears throat> we see that it works if we go back to our user.php file and let's copy this code <clears throat> excuse me and paste it here we just check we want to check our page variable and there's two right here the second page save it go back and refresh and it tells me the second the second uh, page and it's called it all right the second page now if I just change it here it won't show it to me but if it works it doesn't show because I have to change here for the different number I'm, I just made it to show you that it it works now let's say you have a you have another folder and in that folder you have a PHP file and you want to change the URL to that PHP file so let's go to the main folder I in my case is htdocs and I create another folder here let's say pages and in this folder I will create uh, another PHP file which is contact dot php I will open it and here I want to show I want to output hi save it and now if I if I go back to my main directory I see I have here a folder pages if I click on this folder I can see my PHP file contact that PHP I click on it and it shows me hi but pay attention to the URL. We have the folder's name and then we have the file's name. Now we can change it using our HT access. In the same way, we just rewrite the rule for this uh, URL. Let's just copy this one from here and paste it below. Now we want to remove all the variables and then we want to remove all those handles and then we change it to contact save it we go back to our page if we refresh the world the world uh, URL will work but if we change it here to contact and hit enter it will show us the user for oh, that's because I didn't change the file here I should it should be um, pages and then it should be contact.php I save it I go back if I refresh it it shows me hi because that's how I have it in my contact.php file so now you saw how we changed from from this this URL we changed it from this way in this way we made it shorter now there is another thing you can also add an extension here let's say we can we, you want to add dot mp3 for example <laughs> let's save it let's go back if we refresh it doesn't work right now because we have to add an mp3 extension so if you click enter it will work right now the contact page uh, URL is contact.mp3 you can you can write anything here you want for example I don't know you want to add um, Python for example just to it will still work all right that's it for today if you have any questions uh, leave them in the comments and uh, subscribe for this channel share it with your friends 
if you would like me to do a specific tutorial for you or if you need some help just just post a comment and i will do my best to help you uh, thank you for your attention and see you in the next video tutorial